Dan Mullen expected to sign a deal with ESPN to be a new college football analyst. And I got to tell you, Dan Mullen, former Florida football coach, former, uh, former Mississippi State football coach, he did really good things at Mississippi State and at Florida. Now, he let the culture get away from him in Gainesville. He was really good on television in the few minor roles that he had, coaches' film rooms, etc., cetera, uh, when he was on set with them for national title games or bowl games, etc. cetera. He's, he's got enough of a dynamic personality to be successful doing both this and taking this and jumping over to whatever his next job may be. Now, I don't know what that would be, uh, but I think he'll be able to kind of handpick what he wants to do on the next go-round. And I'm not sure. Maybe you guys agree with me. Maybe you don't. Jump into the comments and let me know. Uh, but when it comes to, here, I'm going to look up the college football hot seat right quick uh, just to see. But, uh, but yeah, all right, so Scott Frost, Jeff Scott, Jeff Collins, you know, could he win at Georgia Tech? Eh, I don't know. He's never been the head coach at a G5 school. I don't know that he has to this time. You know, could he go to Syracuse and take over for Dino Babers if, if Babers doesn't get it done? Um, could he take over at Colorado, somewhere along those lines? He seems more like a Big 12 kind of guy to me, but that could just be because I somewhat associate the Mississippi State football program with those of the Big 12, right? You don't expect them to win a national championship, but you do expect them to be competitive year in and year out and give people fits upset somebody that you're not supposed to, go to bowl games, just be a successful football coach. And that's what he seems like he is if he's not going to be super involved in recruiting. That's just a guess. If Neil Brown doesn't get it done in West Virginia, Dan Mullen could do a lot worse than going to Morgantown. Just throwing it out there. Tom Allen at Indiana? Hey, Kevin Wilson was successful at Indiana uh, until all the -the off-the-field Mess, right? <laughs> All the stuff that didn't happen during games. But Kevin Wilson, who is now the offensive coordinator at Ohio State, he was he was good at Indiana. They had a fun offense. They were competitive, and they gave people fits. That's what they did, and I think that's what Dan Mullen will do in his next job because I don't think he's going to be given another one of those big-time jobs where you have to recruit and where you are competing for national titles. I think he can build, and I think he can develop, and I expect him to do that after one year at ESPN unless he grows to love just talking on TV, in which case, hey, you can do a lot worse. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.